Hey there, it's Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger, and today is August 10th, 2012. Anyway, we're going to take a quick look at the setups here, and we'll be on with our day. Okay, so here this red line is our 3 o'clock GMT, not GMT, but <laughs> USA time. As I always say, every day. Um, anyway, um, we needed it for price to break through the support level right here, which it did. Um, and basically, right there, at about five minutes after three, we sold it right there. Boom, and down it went. Okay. 25 pips there. You had about a 15 pip stop, and your total pip potential was about 40 four peps okay um, but anyway uh, other than that you would have looked to sell it in here and in here but I wouldn't have sold it there it bounced off support not there sorry um, anyway it just grinded slowly 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 did a little thing here did a little flip-flop and up it went and there definitely was some divergence here okay <laughs> Gotta love divergence. Anyway, um, not that we show that on any of these indicators in this chart, but anyway. Um, so, basically, that's it. And this move here in the U.S. session was too far, too fast. No return. Filter didn't catch up. There was just basically no trade. Um, anyway, so that's it for the five minute. Let's take a look at the one minute now. We'll take the auto scroll off and see what we have. Okay, well, right there, yeah, I guess, no, no, it came down too quick here, yeah, and bounced off support, there was no trade there, there was no trade there, the filter was black, was there a trade here, no, support was too close again, so the only thing that you could have done is sold it in here after we broke through both of these support levels, um, but that was quite long after the trade, but it's only a three pips later, so anyway. You would have got your 10 pips right there. Um, and that was at about 5 after 3. So you would have got some pips there. Right on, the, right on that entry right there. Okay, cool. That's it for that. Let's take a look at <coughs> the Swissy. Okay, Swissy. We had, uh, same as the Euro, uh, basically a, a trade in here pullback you would have got long and up it went too far too fast just like in the euro um, that didn't happen so anyway uh, you just could have bought some dips somewhere along the way and that's it and the pound what did the pound do wow look at how it shot up shot up like a rocket 120 pips Woo! that was a good one wowzers anyway um, I don't know. Did the filter align? Uh, the filter turned blue when this price hit up here. So if you had the nerves of steel to jump in, well, you could have made a quick 60, 70 pips on that deal. Look at how it came back down and bounced right off the trigger right here. Hey, boom, up we go again. Up, up and away in my wonderful submarine. Okay, Jason, you don't want to quit your day job. Okay. Anyway, that's it for the setups for today. Um, thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. It's raining here. It's cloudy. Not a good day, but hey, we need the rain to make more grain. Um, it's going to be a real sad situation uh, coming September. They're going to jack up all the food prices once again. Uh, we've never had a drought like this in 50 years, they're saying. So, according to my uh, information sources, and this guy's like the top grain analyst in the world, Mr. Tim Hannigan, he's saying that last year we almost ran out of grain. So, what's going to go on this year? I don't know, but grains and stocks are getting very tight. The world's overpopulated, and they're just going to keep jacking up the prices, man. So, anyway, be ready for it. Anyway, thanks for listening, and you guys have a great day.